Welcome back to my brand new Unreal Engine tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create large scale scenes using Electric Dreams environment. So let's see what we are going to create today. Before starting project, go to Epic Games Marketplace and download this Electric Dreams pack. It's around 53 GB. So after downloading, go to the saved location, then open this Unreal Engine project. Just close this window. If you want more information on Electric Dreams pack, Go to the documentation, link is in the description. Then go to content, levels, PCG, then open electric levels. It will take some time to load all the shaders and materials. Once it's done, press and hold right click then press WASD keys to move forward, backward, left and right. The whole environment is built by Unreal Engine game developers. It's based on procedural content generation. Just go to the PCG area and click this PCG model. Then drag this to change the position. Depending on the movement, it will adjust according to the scene. It's all because of procedural content generation. I am thinking to make a separate tutorial on PCG how large scenes can be how large scenes can be built using procedural content. For example, this scene from Tiger 3 or Salar. Here I am using Hanuman 3D model. Just drag and drop to the scene. and increase the scale to a larger value. Rotate it and place it properly. To apply material go to Quixel Bridge. Here I have downloaded some stone materials. Just download it and click on add to add it in your project. You will find material in the Megascan surfaces folder. Select the model, scroll down. Then select any material then click here to apply. Double click on the material under tiling set x and y to 10. For this tutorial I am using this material. Now for the animation create a new level sequence then save it. Now create a new camera, right click on it then select snap object to view. Now drag it to the level sequence then change the perspective to camera. Now increase the frames in the both sides. We face a major problem here. If you go very near or far, some grasses or trees will be disappearing in the scene due to the nanite mesh. 
to fix this click here go to screen percentage and set it to 200 but this will slow down your render speed it will take lot of time to render now just find a good place for animation then add a keyframe on transform then go to end of the timeline hold right click on the mouse then press W key to move forward then add one more keyframe now click on manual focus distance make sure it is set to universal zoom then use this and click here to focus on this area then turn on bloom set it to convolutional with less intensity turn on lens flare and set intensity to 0 0.02 Now go to directional light, here you can set light intensity. And go to the camera aperture, just play around with the different values to set properly. Now increase the focal length. Then add a keyframe. Now go to end of the timeline then decrease the focal length. Now we will have this kind of dramatic zoom animation. Now add a keyframe on focus distance then set this value as shown after adjusting the focus distance you will have this kind of camera animation For closer camera angles, increase the focal length, then adjust the focus distance, then add a keyframe, then go to last, slightly change the position then add one more keyframe. Now we will have closer camera angle shots. For this tutorial, I have made a simple camera movement. Now to change the directional light, press Ctrl plus L on your keyboard, then change the light position. Using some fog material, I have created this fog. To use this fog, create a new plane. Scale it and position it. Now apply the fog material to the plane. Increase the scale and position it wherever it is necessary. Now click on movie render queue, then adjust the settings as shown. If you want step by step tutorial then you can watch this video. In console variables add these two variables. Then click on render local. It will take some time according to your GPU. There are lots of tutorial on Unreal Engine coming on the way. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.